Not bad. I uh, I was real happy with how we played in the first half on both ends of the floor. Um, some of our young guys were nervous, and we, we just missed some dinks early in the game that, uh, that we got we got good shots. We just got to make them. I mean, you, you can't work so hard to get easy shots and, and then mess And then I thought defensively uh, uh, we were solid in the first half. And uh, then obviously we came out of the locker room not, not ready to play. And, uh, so it created a... For us to be good, and that's what I told the team, I, our, defensively we're aggressive. So, so we, we, we leave the pain and go guard people. If you're not in tune and, and zoned in to what you're supposed to do, it's going to be a problem. And that's what happened. We came out, you know. That's, you guys see when I tell you guys when we meet about immaturity, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about immaturity, about uh, you know, guys that don't care or whatnot. It's just your lack of understanding of the sense of urgency you got to have every play, every game. And you know, we'll get back. We'll get back. It's proud, proud of how we play. Frank, the league gets down to three. Brenton's on the floor. He has the courage to take that three-pointer and make it after you guys have really stayed away from the 3-0 game. You know, was, was that a design play? Was that just him being a senior and, and able to create that shot? We actually was the first time in about eight minutes that we actually passed the ball and tried to run offense, and, and he didn't make the right cut. He, he didn't make the right cut off the screen. Uh, he had two options, and he chose to create a third option. It's... Uh, but give him credit, you know. We, we needed to make a shot to, to kind of calm the waters, and he did. And uh, you know, give him credit. That's uh, that's what a, a guy that's been around, that's the, the level of confidence that he should be playing with. Going off of that and immaturity that you were talking about, to be tested like this with that run so early in the year, that's got to be a good thing for your team. Oh, absolutely. Make those young kids understand that, that you, you have to understand how to manage a negative moment to figure out a way to make it a positive moment. And uh, basketball is a game of runs. And if you can ever stay away from whatever we gave up, 18 to 2 run or whatever, if you can ever stay away from those kind of runs, you're going to be okay. Uh, the whole idea is you want your runs to be 12 to 2, 12 to 3, and you want their runs to be 7 to 4. And if you can try to stop the bleeding whenever they're on a run, uh, you're probably going to end up winning the game, and we don't understand that yet. So that, that was good for our guys to have to, to go through that moment there. Yeah, did you think about calling a timeout or some, settling them down during that, or did you want to see how they responded? That game don't count in my record or our NCAA resume or whatever. We had to learn. We had to learn. I, I think we had Brent and a bunch of freshmen running around out there. Well, my bonus was out there too. So. Um, it was a great moment for them to, to, to take ownership and learn. And uh, uh, so it's uh, uh, we 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 didn't handle it real good. But then, like we just said, Brent, you know, jumps up and makes a shot. And sometimes you run great offense and you don't score. And sometimes the offense doesn't go the way you plan it and you do score. And that was one of those moments. But give Brent credit. Frank, was it a designed kind of thing, especially in the second half, to not have Carrera on the floor, to not have Brenton shoot the ball, to kind of let this, the freshmen do what they do, or was that just you know, kind of how it happened? I, I'm not real happy with our leadership, and and I can't get freshmen to understand how to play until our leadership gets better. And you know, Mike's gonna be fine. Mike cares, but you know, he's he, he's he's uh. uh where Mike's biggest growth has to be is in, when I use maturity with him, and is his ability to stay connected to the moment, not to get wrapped up in the emotion or the score or the crowd or his friend or his cousin or whatever. Uh, he's got to stay in the moment, and, and that he's grown, but you know he still has to get a lot better for us to become a real good team. Coach, it seemed like uh, Dwayne Notice had a pretty good first half, and uh, Justin Mack had a pretty good second half for you for the new guys. I thought Dwayne played great, you know, but I just told them in the locker room, cramping, cramping's all on the athlete. There, there's no excuse for athletes to cramp. That, that's that's uh, your responsibility.